What happens if it all goes dark? When disaster strikes, we can lose access to our technology. Hey, my household, we can barely live if the Wi-Fi is not working. <laughs> In these moments, we realize just how fragile that bridge can be. You know, we're excited to show you real time here how we're working with the industry on next generation 5G solutions. We have a partner, Taiwan Pegatron a leading device manufacturer, a great partner for many years, but as many of our partners, and particularly those in Taiwan, they've just grown up, and now they're delivering in larger, cost, larger suppliers and you know, expanding beyond their initial routes. And in this case, they're reaching into 5G networking, and not just an opportunity to grow a new business, but also to do a good thing. And what they've done is they've designed for extreme conditions. Think of it like earthquakes, tornadoes, natural disasters where the comms infrastructure would be knocked out. And imagine that you were a first responder. You're showing up for a disaster relief situation and you have no communications. You know, and built on Intel platforms and software technologies, Pegatron has developed a portable 5G solution for base station and for emergency responders, where they can you know, set up a network but also connect and provide satellite connectivity for backhaul. And so here we have, in the size of a small suitcase designed for extreme conditions, a base station. And up here we see the radio link that they can set up, the link to the outside world. And imagine the site of a massive flood and trying to rescue the stranded people that would have. This network was set up in less than one hour. Over here we have a 5G phone that we're setting up, so 5G connectivity, special devices, general devices. Also we have a 5G camera. And we can see our camera feed here. Wave everybody. Okay, so show, show some more life. It's been a long time since we've been together. Yeah. Hi, Mom. We also up here, we have our 5G drone, right? Imagine that we're able to bring 5G Wi-Fi connectivity to the drone environment as well. And we have volunteers. I stole a few people from the audience today, so if you can bring up your phone here and you can wave at me. There we go, act alive, come on. You're supposed to be good volunteers. Yeah, that's better, right? So we see them up on our screen uh, here, right? And we can imagine, these are first responders, right? Do you all have your CPR certifications? I hope so, right? And showing up and how they can connect, organize a resource. And one of my favorites here, we have our Dell Rugged, you know, fully waterproof, fully mil-spec uh, laptop. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's capable of everything, right, in every situation. I'm not sure if it's teenager proof, though. And it's also built using our latest Intel vPro technology. And this 5G network is capable of delivering hundreds of megabits uh, per second. And if we bring up the screen here, you know, we're operating right at about uh, 900 uh, megabits per second. So clearly the high bandwidth uh, requirement that's are needed for a first responder, video connectivity, seeing the environment. And this solution is possible because of the deep partnership that Intel and Pegatron have had, where we're taking advantage of you know, advances in 5G, availability of wireless spectrum, fully leveraging the Intel software FlexRAN platform using our Xeon scalable uh, platform. And you can think about this as a blueprint for next generation commercial 5G VRAN deployments. And this could be in you know, a variety of different uh, business uh, settings where you set it up for a smart factory environment, smart city environments. And you know, as Pegatron said, they couldn't have done this without the partnership with Intel. And we have a great breakout session today where you can see this and many other use cases in action.